What's up, Cravers? It's a beautiful day here in my backyard, but guess what? We won't be cooking out here today because it's about to start raining. But you ever been wanting tacos, but didn't want to go through the trouble of chopping all those veggies up and everything? Well, guess what? I'm going to show you a new way to do it. This is a requested video. <laughs> So I had to put my glasses on so I could see everything. But today we're going to be baking taco soup. Many people make it different, but I'm just going to show you how to make it my way. It's for people that requested it. So what you'll need is the co-star of the show. I'm using ground chicken. You'll need a pound of it. And you can use ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want to use. It'll be fine. You're going to need some uh, whole kernel corn. I use the golden sweet. Um, diced green chilies. I mean, diced green tomatoes with chilies in it, some black beans, kidney beans, chili beans, whatever you like. But I like using black beans because they're really healthy. Uh, small bell pepper, some of that Goya, uh, it's perfect seasoning, the perfect seasoning, excuse me. Uh, two packs of taco seasoning, one pack of ranch. Um, I use a lot of great value stuff since I had my son because, hey, I started trying to cut corners and save some money. But actually, this stuff tastes just as good as the name brand. And I'm not just saying that just because I'm using it. I can afford the name brand, but I choose to use this to buy more stuff for my son. And you'll need a large pot. I mean, anybody that ever tried it, they can raise their hand at the bottom of this video and they'll tell you that Great Value stepped their game up 100%. I think Walmart's trying to kick all the rest of the products out. If you're cooking this for a large family and you want to use two trays of uh, ground turkey or either a large one, just add an extra can of corn, extra can of beans, an extra can of uh, the diced tomatoes with green chilies, and a half of a bell pepper. Keep the same amount of taco seasoning, the same amount of ranch. You'll be good. All right, Cravers, first thing you want to do is wash that bell pepper, of course and then start slicing that bad boy. You wanna get it sliced up into little bitty pieces if possible. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it once we get done slicing it. So you don't have to watch me slice this entire bill. All right, Cravers, I said that's chopped up pretty good. What you think? All right, put your stove up about halfway. Start that meat cooking with the uh, bell pepper in it. Kind of get that bell pepper sauteed a little bit. See how quick that ground chicken cooks? It's just about done already. Time you start the stove up. All right, Cravers, while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of your taco season packs in there before that meat gets done. That's how the flavor stays inside of the meat. Some people like to brown their meat first and then put the taco season on. But just think about it, when you go to season any other meat, you go ahead and pour the season on. Also, go ahead and pour your ranch pack in there. One thing I forgot to tell you, of course, you're not going to wash the ground beef or ground turkey or ground chicken or something like that. But make sure you always wash the top of your cans off and always wash your meat. Excuse that angle of the camera. All right, we'll get that stirred in. You want to cook that and let it dry out just a little bit. That's pretty much the secret of keeping that flavor in there. Just keep cooking it until that meat starts to get a little dry when you know it's done. Remember, get you one of these wooden spatulas for your non-stickware. It'll help you 
cannot scratch that up and you can break all that ground turkey ground chicken up look how thin mine looks you hear my son in the background he's saying yeah 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 he approves of this so keep chopping that up you approve cj thank you little cravings with carlos he'll be doing some videos after a while he won't have an easy bake oven though he'll be on the barbecue grill the kitty barbecue grill all right keep stirring that stuff up so keep stirring that until it's dry and it's all the way done and you see that those bell peppers have turned another color that's when you know that they've pretty much been sauteed good enough they're light green at first and they'll get real dark that's how you know your bell pepper is done and i'll be right back with you all right remember what i told you cravers wash the top of those cans off don't pour the juice off of it or anything just dump the entire two cans of tomatoes in there put both of them in Stir that around until it comes up into a boil. So once that starts boiling, see the little bubbles? Take your Goya and sprinkle just a little bit in there. This has cumin and oregano, all kinds of stuff in it. It's really good and it'll give it an even better flavor. So stir that around. All right, now that that's boiling, go ahead and dump your black beans in. Yeah, dump them right in there because the sauce around the black beans is what's gonna make it thicker. Or the kidney beans or the chili beans, whatever you put in there. Normally I wash these off if I'm making like a fajita bowl or something. All right, you wanna wash your corn off and then drain one can and dump it in. Stir it up. Don't knock this until you try it. Trust me. I knocked it for a while because I was like, that's gross. How are you going to put ground meat over in this soup? Trust me, it's delicious. So without further ado, I'll drop this second can in that I wash and I'm going to leave the juice on it. So I'm going to get that stirred in. We're going to put that last pack of taco season in. Some people eat this with Doritos. Some people eat it with tortilla chips. Some put it on top of corn chips. Of course, you'll get a perforated spoon and scoop it out so there won't be so much so much juice. But it's good either way. I've tried it every way. But most of the time, I'll just eat it by itself because it's really healthy, tastes really good, and you'll drop weight from eating stuff like this. More brothy soups. Like I said, you can see this pot is just about full. So you can look at this pot and tell whether or not you need to make a double helping for your family or not. We're gonna let that come up into a really good boil. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like because it's not gonna be as watery as it is right now. It's gonna thicken up. All right, Cravers, as you can see, it's gotten a lot thicker. You wanna stir that around because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot, even though it says none stick. Stuff still sticks to it. Look at how thick that's getting. Everything is expanding and sucking up the juice. Don't let that voice scare you. My son loves it. And don't get smart in the comment section saying you're not my son. See how that meat spread it out? It's not that much meat in there. It's mainly vegetables. Oh well, I know you're tired of me talking. All right, at this time, just get you a little separate spoon that you won't be double dipping because I'm going to be serving this to other people. Blow that stuff because it's going to be hot. See what it tastes like. Oh my goodness. It tastes better than a taco. These, oh my goodness. They are the bomb with this taco soup on top of it. Don't believe me? Try it. All right, Cravers, this soup has gotten thick. All the vegetables are cooked thoroughly and it is done and ready to serve. I'll leave you some pictures at the end at how I garnish mine. 
I usually put cheese on top of it and some sour cream, but you fix it the way that you want to. I also put avocado on mine, but I don't have any avocado today. So I'm gonna make it do what it do.